Tonight's headlines, bill creating Metropolitan Davao Development Authority gets Senate's final okay. No vaccine, no right policy in NCR unconstitutional, says Public Attorney's Office. Coronavirus cases in the country are 3,242,374. COVID-19 among top causes of death in the Philippines. No Pinoy's affected so far in Tonga underwater volcano eruption. And financial consumer complaints were worth 2 billion pesos, says Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Good evening. Today is Monday, January 17, 2022. I'm Elmer Navarro Manuel, and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. The bill creating the Metropolitan Davao Development Authority, or MDDA, was approved by the Senate on third and final reading. With 23 affirmative votes, zero negative votes, and zero abstention, the upper house approved the measure that will consider 15 local government units in the Davao region as a special development and administrative region to be known as the Metropolitan Davao. The LGUs include Davao City, the cities of Panabo, Tagum, and the island, of, island Garden City of Samal in Davao del Norte, Digos City in Davao del Sur, Mati City in Davao Oriental, the municipalities of Santa Cruz, Hagonoy, Padada, Malalag, and Sulop in Davao del Sur, the municipality of Carmen in Davao del Norte, Mako in Davao de Oro, and Malita and Santa Maria in Davao Occidental. According to the bill, the MDDA will be mandated to coordinate and promote socio-economic growth and sustainable development of Metropolitan Davao, and it will execute the powers and functions provided under the measure, but it will no way diminish the autonomy of the LGU of Metropolitan Davao. Public Attorney's Office Chief Presida Acosta said Monday that the recent policy requiring commuters to present their vaccination cards before boarding public vehicles is un unconstitutional and discriminatory. Acosta said that the policy is highly unconstitutional and against the law, citing Republic Act 11525, which states that vaccine cards shall not be considered an additional mandatory requirement for educational employment and other similar government transaction purposes. Under the new policy, only fully vaccinated individuals in the National Capital Region may board public transportation vehicles while the region is under Alert Level 3 or higher. Alert Level 3 is currently in effect in NCR until January 31. Exemptions to the policy include persons with medical conditions that prevent their full COVID-19 vaccination as proven by a duly signed medical certificate with the name and contact details of their doctor. The Department of Health reported 37,070 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Monday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 3,242,374. This brought the active cases to 290,138 and of the total 9,187 are asymptomatic, 277,020 are mild, 2,947 are moderate, 1,480 are severe and 304 are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 2,898,507 after 33,940 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll is now at 52,929 with 23 fatalities recorded. Data from the DOH also showed that the nation's occupancy rate for intensive care unit beds is at 49%, while occupancy rate for mechanical ventilators is at 22%. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage. 
Hari Roque, ang pinakamagaling na spokesman. Kaya inggit sa kanya ang oposisyon. Tama lang na ipinaglaban ko ang balik trabaho para bumalik ang kita ng mga nagtatrabaho at naghahanap buhay. Hindi pwedeng magutom ang pamilya. Dapat lang po ingat buhay para sa hanap buhay. Basta trabaho, kita at hanap buhay ang nakataya. Nasa harap niyo po ako. Ibigay natin ang tudong suporta kay Harry. Mga impormasyong direktang makukuha mula sa sources at diretsahang usapan. Yan ang ating daming sa inyo sa programang Straight Talk. Samahan nyo kami sa makabuluhang talakayan live tuwing Martes alas 10 ng umaga sa official Facebook page ng Daily Tribune at Tribune Now on YouTube. latest entertainment at sa mga paborito nyong celebrities kasama si Pocholo Concepcion sa programang What's Up. Makibanding at kwentuhan kasama ang mga kilalang personalidad sa entertainment industry. Sama-sama natin silang kilalanin at silipin ang makulay nilang mundo every Tuesday at 2pm. Kaya sit back and relax lang kayo mga katribu. Hanapin at ilike ang Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. Dahil sagot na namin ang masayang kwentuhan, dito lang sa What's Up. Botomoto Halalan 2022 The Daily Tribune Special Coverage In other news, the Philippine Statistics Authority disclosed that the coronavirus disease was among the top causes of death in the Philippines in the first 10 months of 2021, ranking third after heart and cerebro cerebrovascular diseases. Data from the PSA show that ischemic heart diseases were the top causes of death in the country during the period with 110,332 cases or 18.3% of the total deaths, which is 28% higher than the 86,164 deaths or 16.9% of the total deaths recorded in the comparable period in 2020. The PSA ranked cerebrovascular diseases as the second top cause of death in the country during the period with 58,880 deaths or 9.7% of the total. This is 10.9% higher than the 53,082 cases recorded in the same period the previous year. The ranking comes even as total COVID-19 deaths accounted for 75,285 or 12.5% during the period registering a higher number than recorded from cerebrovascular diseases. The Department of Foreign Affairs on Monday announced that there were no reported Filipino casualties so far in Tonga, Samoa, and Fiji following a large undersea volcanic eruption that triggered tsunamis and strong wave alerts across the Pacific. Foreign Affairs spokesman Ed Menyes said the Philippine Embassy in New Zealand, which has jurisdiction over the three areas, is still checking if there were Filipinos affected by the eruption and tsunamis. There are 87 Filipinos in Tonga, 300 in Samoa, and 400 in Fiji, according to the DFA. On Sunday, the embassy in New Zealand said residents in coastal areas were evacuated to higher ground and that communication systems were disrupted due to tsunamis in Tonga, Samoa, and Fiji. Tsunami advisories were also issued for the coastal areas of New Zealand, Japan, and the U.S. Western States, according to the DFA. And in business, Banco Central ng Pilipinas Governor Benjamin Jokno revealed that billions of pesos worth of complaints from consumers regarding financial products and services were recorded in the past two years. Jokno cited the difficulties for consumers in recovering their money from erring institutions in noting his case for the passage of the proposed Financial Consumer Protection Act to the Senate. He added that the FCP will protect consumers making daily financial transactions and give more teeth to local regulators. The proposed measure covers all financial products and services, establishes protection standards for consumers, and pushes transparent and responsible pricing. It also mandates the respectful treatment of privacy and client data protection. 
should it be passed into law, regulators will also be able to hold hearings on consumer complaints and implement restrictions on unreasonable interests, fees, or charges. That wraps up the stories tonight. And before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store, Mary Kay, Araneta Center, Department of Tourism, MG Motors, Hina Motors, Security Bank, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night. And God bless us all. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Vaccination, isolation, gotta keep up with my nutrition, gotta maintain my body condition, then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation. With vaccination. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Ang Daily Tribune, may digital shows na din. Dahil sa mas lumalaki at mas lumalakas nating tribu, handog sa inyo ng Daily Tribune ang mga programang magbibigay buhay araw-araw. Be informed at mag good vibes tuwing umaga sa programang gising na. Be updated sa news and happenings sa Tribune News on Q. Mas kilalanin pa natin ang mga paborito niyong atleta sa programang The Athletes Tribune. Alamin ang latest entertainment sa programang What's Up. Ma-inspire sa mga kwentong hatid ng Fairfriend. Search lang ang Daily Tribune sa inyong Facebook at Tribune Now on YouTube. See you there, mga katribu! Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. Download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS and Google Play for Android to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune invites you to join its Viber community, Katribu, to get updates on the hottest news on politics, business, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. Emoticons of the Tribune mascot, Tarsito, are available on our community Viber.